Alright everybody, it's Rob with Sky Monkey, and today we're going to do a thermal scan of a TPO roof on a large commercial structure. And what we're looking for today is water infiltration, any water that's gotten under the TPO and is now trapped between the TPO and the deck of the roof. We're also going to be looking for heat loss today. And to do that, we'll be using the DJI Matrice 210 version 2 with a Zenmuse X-T2 thermal camera. And so with that being said, let's get it up in the air. And see what the thermal shows. Hi guys, we're out here. We have a thermal drone. We're scanning the entire building. This is an 800,000 square foot building. They have multiple areas that have leaks and they have been unable to find them. So this imagery will show us where the penetrations and where the leaks are based on uh, temperature difference, where it's holding water, uh, ponding water, anything of that sort will read different than the ambient temperature of the roof. Um, so it's a it's a great method. Again, it's 800,000 square feet. So if you're going to walk this roof, two or three people could take a week. Uh, this scan would take a few hours. So here we're looking at a large rubber roof with multiple penetrations with the thermal on the right corner here. And you can see all the different color variations. This is where there was or is ponding water. Uh, based on the thermal, it looks like it's just dry and dirt sediment. You can see how the edge is a different temperature than the rubber. So we have the lower portion and the upper portion. You can see the lower, I believe it looks like it's not insulated based on the temperature difference. And if anything, the white surface should be cooler if it was insulated than the black because it's not absorbing the sun and heating. That's why it's important to understand what we're looking at so you can tell. Those look like patch jobs that are not working. Not really able to evaporate. Sooner or later it gets in your insulation, just sits and rots out your roof or finds an access point to, to get out, which is causing the interior damage. Putting the solar panels on themselves create a lot of foot traffic. Yeah. So when you put a roof on like this, they use a high density insulation board. So the foot traffic would just like be like walking in the mud. Sooner or later you're gonna start getting an indentation. Uh -huh. And then you create a low spot and there's your puddle. So if you have that puddling long term over a seam, sooner or later you're going to have a leak. It's really tough. If, uh, if there's multiple ways, it brackets, each bracket would have to be, you literally have to uninstall and reinstall each solar panel. Or if you went with a coating, you could coat over the mounting brackets, which would be good as long as you didn't mess with the mounting brackets. If you were so we can come in there and literally spray just the walk pad for them as well. It would fill the void and it's 100% silicone with like a glass sand in it, so it's not slippery. You'll have a one big picture, but it'll be one stitched together. And that's what you would need, because honestly on something like this, there's so many variances and the roof's so damn big. Right. Every one of these spots, you know, we're gonna need to, to look at. If you run out of battery, land, land. Hurry, hurry.